From Washington, this is VOA News. Morsi supporters clash with Egyptian security forces. New calls for the arrest of Sudan's president. I'm Ray Kugel reporting from Washington. Hundreds of supporters of ousted Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi clash Monday night with security forces in Cairo while demanding his return to power. Police fired tear gas at the Morsi loyalists who retaliated by throwing rocks. Protesters are holding a sit-in outside the Rabia El Adwiya Mosque in Cairo, a stronghold of the Muslim Brotherhood. Hundreds of thousands of people are participating in other protests across Egypt, including Alexandria. The Muslim Brotherhood and other Morsi supporters have been demanding that Egypt's first democratically elected president be returned to power. In Syria, government forces backed by tanks and artillery are reportedly moving into the rebel-held Kaboon district of Damascus after hitting the Sunni Muslim area with weeks of heavy shelling. According to Syria's main western-backed opposition group, pro-Assad forces are holding 200 people hostage at a mosque in Kaboon. The Syrian National Coalition also says government troops are reportedly using civilians as human shields. Rights groups are calling for the arrest of Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir as he makes his first visit to Nigeria since he was indicted by the International Criminal Court in 2009. Heather Murdoch reports. Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir arrived at the African Union HIV AIDS conference along with leaders from across the continent. Human Rights Watch and the Nigerian Coalition on the International Criminal Court are calling for his arrest in accordance with a 2009 ICC indictment. The Nigerian coalition chair, Chino Edmund Obiagwa, says all countries that are members of the international court are bound by law to arrest anyone who has been indicted, including heads of state. However, Nigerian officials say they will not be arresting Bashir because he was invited to Nigeria by the African Union. Heather Murdoch for VOA News, Abuja. France confirms that a body found earlier this month in Mali is that of French geologist Philippe Verdun, who was kidnapped by Al-Qaeda Al linked militants in late 2011. The office of French President Francois Hollande says the remains will be returned to France as soon as possible for testing to determine the cause of death. French radio says the body was recovered by French troops near the Algerian border. Russia's President Vladimir Putin says fugitive U.S. intelligence leaker Edward Snowden will be leaving the country as soon as there's an opportunity for him to do so. Mr. Putin says the United States has essentially trapped Snowden in Russian territory by revoking his passport. Snowden's been offered asylum in Bolivia, Nicaragua, and Venezuela, but is stuck now for three weeks in the transit zone of Moscow's international airport, unable to fly without any travel documents. In Bangladesh, a controversial war crimes court sentenced a top Islamist leader to 90 years in prison for his role in atrocities committed during the country's war of independence. The sentencing of 90-year-old Ghulam Azam triggered violent clashes, leaving at least two people dead. Angela Pastricha has details. The sentence was handed down Monday to the former head of Jamaat Islami Party, Ghulam Azam, in a packed courtroom in Dhaka. Azam, brought to court in a wheelchair, was found guilty of several crimes, including inciting and planning war crimes in 1971 when Bangladesh broke free of Pakistan. Prosecutors said he played a key role in setting up militia groups that killed and raped thousands of people. His defense lawyers say the charges were politically motivated. 
clashes erupted even before the verdict was read out as Jamaat-e-Islami activists threw stones and torched vehicles in Dhaka and other cities. Police fired rubber bullets to disperse protesters. Anjana Pusrija for VOA News, New Delhi. The top U.S. law enforcement official is calling for a new national discussion about what he describes as complicated and emotionally charged issues surrounding the shooting death last year of an unarmed black teenager. Attorney General Eric Holder spoke Monday in Washington, two days after a Florida jury acquitted Neighborhood Watch volunteer George Zimmerman of murder charges in Trayvon Martin's death. China is detaining four executives, the British drug maker GlaxoSmithKline, for alleged bribery as part of a series of Chinese investigations of foreign companies accused of illicit dealings in the country. The Chinese ministry identifies four as Chinese nationals of senior management roles. I'm Ray Kugel, VOA News. More at voanews.com.